So before we go ahead and solve this integral, I'm going to go ahead and explain the double angle rule, yeah? So the double angle rule is written as cos 2 theta, and it can be written in three different representations. I'm only interested in two of them because one involves sine squared and other one involves cos squared, okay? Theta the subject and other one is cos squared theta subject. And if you do it, you'll pretty much get something like that. You can, you can pretty much rearrange to get 1 minus cos 2x over 2 for sine squared, whereas for cos squared x, you're going to get the plus version. So yeah, a bit like that. Now, a key note is that the sine squared x always has a negative cos 2x, whereas the cos squared x has a positive cos 2x, as you can see. So, let's go ahead and just put 2 times 2 on the other side, because that gives you a quarter behind integral. Now, all we have left is literally a double bracket, which has 1 minus cos 2x times 1 plus cos 2x. And guys, if you went ahead and expanded times term by term, you'll literally just get this. 1 minus cos squared, and then in the bracket, 2x. And that's it, guys. Now we could go ahead and just integrate what you see, or we can just note the fact that 1 minus cos squared something is the same as sine squared, because it's a trig identity that tells us that sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals 1. Now at this stage guys, we just need to integrate that sine squared term, and if we recall from earlier, we actually integrate sine squared x, and pretty much got 1 minus cos 2x over 2 in the beginning. So let's go ahead and look at identity again. So what we could say that instead of theta, theta is pretty much being replaced by 2x. Previously it was just x. So if you think about it, guys, it's going to be pretty much the same integral again, like as 1 minus cos 2x. The only difference is now, instead of 1 minus cos 2x, we doubled x from 2x to get 1 minus cos 4x. You see? So that's what actually happens. It's been doubled to get 4x. And that's it guys, the rest is history. We just pretty much smash that down. So as always guys, what I always do is take out a 2 to get 1 eighths and then just deal with 1 minus cos 4x. And integrating that is easy. 1 becomes x, cos 4x, well, it becomes a sine, and the 4 goes underneath. So it becomes sine 4x over 4. And that's it, guys. We pretty much wrap it right here. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And if you did, please give me a like, subscribe, and I shall see you guys next time. Ciao.